and then now let's see what I will do. I will take the second square tile and just use some washi tape to glue those two so that I can continue with tangling. I need my glasses. I'm not young anymore. <laughs> Um, and I will just draw an extension of this border. The third angle is the one that I have used and the one that I love. It's dewed by Zentangle and I will start here and I think if I draw it like this it does remind me of my Mooka, my lovely Mooka Tangle. So it will look nicely with these mukas that I have already placed here. And I might add at least one more. They are getting bigger. It's not something that I have planned. And now um, I usually start from the bottom with the auras around the mocha or <laughs> around the dude. Again, another wasp has entered my living room. It's still quite warm here in Croatia. Well, the autumn is here, but still quite warm. I think it's like 25 or so. And now that I have one, let's say, cluster of these here, I have used the washi tape mostly so that I can draw these shapes that are right uh, where the two tiles meet. But I will draw another one and I will maybe even start from the bottom and do it a bit differently. I'm now going with this teardrop shape and drawing from the bottom to top is not the most comfortable thing for me to do. So you can see that my lines are not the straightest. Well, it's not going to prevent me from drawing. They are strange. And you can also hear maybe my dog running around. And 
again the order lines that will connect these and then when I'm done with these aura lines I will think about what to do to fill the space and I think I will just go with some lines and try to draw them in a way that they end up being in line with the left and the right side too. And now that I have done this, I might do something a bit different. One more line here so that I'm done with these parts where the two tiles meet and then I think I will do something a bit different I will use the same thing on several of those dudes um, but here I might stick to the lines and I might need another mocha too There are several different ways that I use to draw mukas, and this one I have used lately, mostly. I'm not sure if I will use any more dudes. I did not want that to sound like it did. I have my dude. One is more than enough. And I will shade these pods same way like I, I was shading mukas, so just to be consistent. And I will also add some shades behind these pots. Another thing that you can consider doing is maybe add some weight to your lines on those places where you would like to use more drama I'm not sure if I have ever used shades like this on dude, but it just seems to me that there is a lot of space here below these branches. So I'll try and see what this will look like. some blending
I'm not sure how much it bothers you that I'm rotating that tile as much as I am. But I'm trying to, what I'm trying to do is just to keep my right hand, I'm right-handed, rested. So that means that I'm, while I'm drawing, my hand is mostly in the same position and I'm rotating the paper tile when I need to um, shade or, or draw or highlight or blend those shades and highlights so that I don't need to move my hand around too much. Okay. For now I'm done with the shades and I will switch to highlighting again. So first I'm going to add highlights to these pods and then now that I have used shades like this under this let's call it a branch or whatever it is I will use some highlight on top of it again in an attempt to create more contrast I place my brightest highlights on the opposite side of the line where my darkest shades are. I'm still thinking about whether, whether I will have some shading also here. So one approach when I'm shading is to think about where the source of light is. And then another one is to see where the shapes are overlapping or where one shape is disappearing behind another and I will enhance that too I decided to do it not as much as below but some shade So place some here on top. I'm trying to control the pressure that I put on the pencil when I'm drawing so that I don't have or so that I blend as little as possible. Again, just to, to repeat, because this is a very delicate paper. I'm trying not to use the blending stamp over 
it too much. Well, there is some volume in this part now around the dude. I, I will tell you, I would like these shades to be darker, so I might come back and add some darker shades with another pencil, or maybe what you can do is also just add another layer with whatever pencil you are using. But still, this is a graphite pencil and it's, it's not black. It's gray and the thing that really bothers me or yeah, bothers me, it might be too hard or might sound not the right way, but I would love it not to be shiny, which on this paper is not an issue. Although the graphite does shine when you look at it like this, but on some papers, especially darker, really, I don't like the way that it shines. I might have smudged this with my hand when I was drawing a little bit, or maybe I just haven't noticed before how these lines are not black anymore. So I'm just going to add, and you can see that I'm going back and forth with my supplies and observing it and adding this and that and then thinking that I'm finished changing my mind again and going back again to add whatever I think is lacking and this is the way I create. When I teach my classes I try to of course be more structured about the approach but when I create alone for like this then it's a different thing I will also take an O5 jelly roll to just add some What's the name? Is it under lights or something like that? So just to add some more contrast. It's really a subtle thing that I'm doing, but it still contributes to the 3D effect or to the volume of whatever I'm shading, highlighting. <coughs> Sometimes when I do things like this, going back with my pen to, let's say, fix or enhance something, sometimes I do more harm than good. <laughs> I'm sure that you know what I'm talking about if you do the same. Sometimes it's just best to leave things as they are. Okay, here's the little part of the border. And I think that I'm done with my dude. For now, yeah. So this is it for uh, the single three in the challenge. Well, <laughs> no, it's not. I will add some highlights with my Jelly Roll 10.
I'm not sure it's even noticeable because I haven't blended the white charcoal, so it's quite light. And now, really, um, day three finished. <laughs> See you tomorrow.